Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Think you're safe purchasing prepackaged groceries and produce? Think again, fair archivers. Strap yourself in as we present what could be our scariest installment yet, the worst food tampering cases in history. Dramatics aside, this list may prompt you to check your food twice before giving it a hearty bite. Number 10, Prince Edward Island's Potatoes. It's a sad day when you can't trust a potato. And in 2014, there were many sad days. It started in October. A series of cases arose pertaining to needles and nails having been found in a supply of potatoes imported from Prince Edward Island. The first discovery stemmed from Atlantic Canada, leading eyes to focus on a French fry production facility. Despite the efforts from law enforcement and the Prince Edward Island Potato Board, the culprits responsible for over seven counts of tampering remained at large. To tighten the noose, the Potato Board offered a half a million dollar reward to anyone with information leading to the arrest and conviction of the perps. As of a year later, there were still no arrests made. Number nine, the Aqua Bomber. Just when you thought it was safe to drink water, Hmm. Late 2003 was the year several households across Italy were the scene of the crime. For unknown reasons, several brands of water were on the receiving end of unhealthy additives, including acetone, bleach, and ammonia. As quickly as the tampering started, though, it ended, with only some 20 cases of tampered bottles having been reported. The perpetrators utilized needles to inject the poisonous substances directly below the bottle's caps, and while the smell was strong enough for some to know that the bottles were unsafe, 12 victims were hospitalized with stomach pains associated with the Aqua Bomber's reign of H2 terror. Number 8. Gerber's Glass Baby Food Sometimes the worst of food tampering can come at the behest of a mix of fame-seeking consumers and small-time villains. Such is the case in the 1986 Gerber Baby Food Scare, when 137 complaints of glass fell on the Food and Drug Administration's table. After complaints of glass in Gerber's bottles were reported in Schenectady, New York, around Valentine's Day, a panic seemed to fall over additional consumers. After combing through all 137 complaints, the FDA determined those that weren't false reports seeking money were copycats that tampered with the product. Gerber stood fast that their manufacturing and packing plants were up to par, but didn't speak publicly as to potential tampering. Number 7. The Berges Oranges Jaffa oranges are a delicious, sweet orange grown in the Middle East, and sometimes paired with mercury. At least, that was the case for the five children of the Berge family, a Dutch family that fell victim to a grotesque attack that was meant to hurt Israeli exports. The tactic, implemented by Palestinian terrorists, included injecting non-lethal amounts of mercury into the citrus fruit prior to export. According to threatening letters associated with the act, the move was in response to poor labor relations for oppressed Palestinian workers, though a conflicting confession by the Arab Revolutionary Army Palestinian Command was received at the Amsterdam Health Ministry. Of the 220 oranges tested in the Netherlands, 14 showed trace amounts of mercury. Number 6. Sizzler's Rat Poison Surprise You don't even think about it, but every time you dine out, you may be putting your life at risk. This was doubly true for Sizzler patrons in two different locations where, a month apart from one another, each location was alerted to green pellets in soup and sauce from the salad bar. After being tested, the pellets were proven to be rat poisoning, dispersed by 57-year-old Jacqueline Elizabeth Fords of Brisbane. Sizzler shut down all self-serving salad bars in the area after the second complaint, a costly measure as the bar accounts for 60% of the restaurant's revenue. Forbes, ironically, was also the same woman that came forward with a complaint of the pellets in her soup. Number 5. The Monster with 21 Faces It may sound like a mythological beast and may have been the name of an Etagawa Rampo villain, but the monster with 21 faces is actually a conspirator in poisoned candy supplies in Japan. What started in March of 1984 with the kidnapping of the CEO of Glico, a local candy manufacturer, erupted into a series of threats made by an individual that called themselves the monster with 21 faces, who poisoned candy by lacing it with cyanide. The monster's terror claimed its first victim in August of 1985, long after the threats ended, when the police superintendent in charge of the investigation set himself on fire over the shame of the monster still running free. Number 4. Rajneesh's Salad Bar 
In 1984, the city of The Dalles in Oregon was on the receiving end of the largest bioterrorist attack in the United States, during which 751 individuals fell victim to salmonella poisoning in a political effort by followers of the Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh. The attacks were an attempt to tip the voting scale so that two of the three seats on the Wasco County Circuit Court and the Sheriff's Department would be held by members of the newly formed town of Rajneesh, formerly Antelope, Oregon. Despite the success in spreading salmonella, the ultimate goal was unsuccessful, as Wasco County voters assumed the group was responsible for the attacks. By November, the Rajneesh candidates withdrew. Number three, nicotine beef. Sometimes all it takes is one deranged individual to put the lives of many at risk. In January of 2003, four Michigan families fell ill to an odd case of nicotine poisoning. What made it so odd is that the poisoning came from beef that they had purchased at a local grocer. What started with 18 people blew up into a case involving over 90, and as the complaints were fairly localized, all eyes fell upon the supermarket. On February 12th, an indictment for the arrest of an employee at the supermarket was returned, the alleged food terrorist being accused of contaminating over 200 pounds or 100 kilograms of beef with an insecticide containing high nicotine content. Number two, paracat murders. It may not have been common practice in 1985 Japan, but by now we should know not to drink random beverages found just outside of vending machines. Just don't do it, because you never know when one of them is going to be dosed with paracat, an herbicidal quite lethal in the right dose. The first case was on April 30th, 1985 in Fukuyama, Hiroshima, with 11 more occurring between September and November. Allegedly, many of the victims took a bottled drink left outside of the vending machine, prompting owners of the machines to leave notes warning against doing so. Thanks to the voices of reason, the poisoning stopped, but the killer still roams free. Number 1. Tylenol and Cyanide Back before tamper-proof labels, it was quite easy to add a little something extra to products like Tylenol. And in 1982, an unknown individual laced capsules with potassium cyanide. New York resident James William Lewis took credit for the tampering, demanding $1 million to stop the poisonings, which had already claimed the lives of seven people. Lewis was convicted of extortion, but wasn't originally pegged with the poisonings. In 2012, the FBI raided Lewis's home in connection with the murders, though the investigation is still pending. In the aftermath of these deaths, tamper-resistant packaging hit the market and product tampering became a federal crime. Do you have an idea for a future Top 10 video? Let us know in the comment section below. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and our website, top10archive.net. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all of your family and friends.